Welcome to another video from Autism Advanced. Today I will be talking about Childhood Disintegrative Disorder or Haller Syndrome. What it is, what causes it, the disorder symptoms and the available treatments. Before we begin, please take a second and hit that subscribe button below as I will be creating weekly videos that will provide you with information that can make a difference in the lives of those affected by autism. So, what is Childhood Disintegrative Disorder? Childhood Disintegrative Disorder, also known as CDD for short, is a rare condition that affects a child's development, causing a regression in skills they have already acquired. It is also known as Heller Syndrome, or Disintegrative Psychosis. The symptoms of CDD typically appear between the ages of 2 and 10 years, on average around 3 to 4 years of age. This symptom is categorized in a low-functioning subset. Children with CDD experience a significant loss of previously acquired skills in areas such as language, socialization, and motor skills. The regression can be severe and may include loss of language, ability to play, social interaction, and bowel bladder control. The level of skill that a child with this syndrome loses vary from person to person. As you can imagine, it can cause a significant impairment in the child's daily functioning and quality of life. It can be so severe that even the children suffering from it get aware of the regression and may ask what is happening to them. A typical presentation would be of a child who is able to communicate in two or three word phrases losing this ability. They will eventually stop talking altogether or retain only fragments of their former speech. There may be social and emotional problems such as children previously happy to be cuddled becoming aversive to physical contact. Some children describe or seem to be reacting to hallucination, show fearfulness and develop epilepsy. Currently, one to two children in every 100,000 children are diagnosed with Heller syndrome. You may wonder, what causes CDD? Well, until this day, the causes of the syndrome are unknown. The condition can develop in days or develop over time. Most commonly begin in the fourth year of life. Diagnosing CDD requires evaluation by qualified healthcare professionals, such as developmental pediatrician, neurologist, or child psychiatrist. The diagnosis is made by observing the child's developmental history, conducting a physical examination, and performing various tests to rule out other conditions. The Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, DSM-5, outlines the criteria for the diagnosis of CDD, which includes significant loss of previously acquired skills in multiple areas, followed by impairment in social interaction, communication, and behavior. Unfortunately, there is no cure for CDD. However, early intervention and treatment can help manage symptoms and improve the child's quality of life. Treatment typically includes a combination of behavioral, educational, and pharmacological interventions. Those are behavioral therapies. Behavioral therapies such as applied behavioral analysis can be effective in improving communication, socialization, and daily living skills. ABA is a structured therapy that focuses on positive reinforcement to encourage desirable behavior and discourage undesirable behavior. ABA can also be used to teach specific skills such as toilet training or self-care. Educational interventions. Children with CDD may require specialized educational programs tailored to their needs. These programs may include individualized education plans, which outline specific goals and accommodation for the child. Special education programs may include speech therapy, occupational therapy, and physical therapy, as well as academic support to address learning difficulties. Pharmacological treatments. 
medications may be prescribed to manage specific symptoms associated with CDD, such as aggression, hyperactivity, or anxiety. However, medication should be used with caution and under close medical supervision, as some medications may have adverse side effects. Alternative therapies. Alternative therapies such as music therapy, art therapy, or animal-assisted therapy may also be beneficial for children with CDD. This therapy can provide a relaxing and calming environment that helps the child to engage in social interaction and improve communication skills. Parental support. Caring for a child with CDD can be challenging and stressful for parents. Support groups, counseling, and educational programs can be helpful in providing parents with the tools and resources they need to care for their child. To conclude, childhood disintegrity disorder is a rare but severe condition that can have a significant impact on the child's development and quality of life. It is important for the parents and healthcare professionals to recognize the early signs of CDD and seek a prompt evaluation and diagnosis. With early intervention and treatment, children with CDD can improve their functioning and quality of life. Ongoing research and increased awareness of CDD are crucial to improve our understanding of the condition and develop more effective treatments. I hope this video provided you with a better understanding about what CDD or Haller syndrome is, its causes, the symptoms, and treatment. If you have any questions, please type them in the comments below and I will do my best to get back to you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.